anybody was going to know what was going on, you guys would. This Nacogdoches County woman, along with countless East Texans, called us when the earth shook. Tonight, we're learning much more about what happened. East Texas has experienced a space shuttle crash, a devastating hurricane, and now add earthquake to the disasters. Seismologists first recorded the tremor around 10.15 this morning. A 3.7 earthquake was felt in portions of Shelby, Nacogdoches, and Panola counties. The U.S. Geological Survey measured the epicenter just over three miles below the Earth's surface near Tempson. That's close enough for people to feel the Earth move under their feet. East Texas News 9's Donna McCollum visited with some of them who at first just didn't know what was happening. Fran Rosenberger lives just north of Nacogdoches. She was our first caller asking, what is going on? The Earth is moving. I felt my entire body move. I felt this table move. I felt, I, I could hear the house literally going north and south. East Texans are used to working off the land, but not feel it move beneath them. The house was shaking, so I looked out, everybody was looking. It was some terror. The quake moved this large home. Just to hear the noise in this house and, and everything shaking. And at Rudy's in downtown Garrison, the earthquake was the lunch discussion. From the school to the donut shop next door and everybody was ran out just wondering what happened because they were scared. The shake was strong enough to cause brick damage at Kyle Ackeson's home in Garrison. You can see that the bricks itself actually broke in half. The neighbor down the street had a porch pillar knocked off center during the quake. I just didn't know what it was. I thought maybe it was uh, a wreck up on the highway, but it, it was just too much shaking going on. Bridges, the Lake Nacogdoches Dam, and railroad tracks are being checked for structural damage. Anthony Roberts sells watermelon whirls from his ice cream truck. But this time, he felt a whirl of a different kind. These oil companies have destroyed the earth, and I think it's, it's, just, it's just messing up everything. Just Roberts may be onto something. A National Weather Service senior meteorologist says fracking has caused earthquakes in North Texas. Um, you know, they've got extensive well drilling out there in, the, in that area, too, and some of the fracking could, could be related to some of the minor and small earthquakes they've received as well. East Texas earthquakes don't happen often, but this isn't the first one. There's documentation of them occurring in 1981, 1964, and 1891. Donna McCollum, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Emergency officials warn aftershocks could be felt for the next few days or even months. They're typically not as strong as the first, and so far none have been recorded. If you find any damage left behind by the earthquake, call your sheriff's office so it can be documented. So here's what you need to know to keep your family safe during a tremor. Stay inside and take cover under a strong desk or table. Keep away from the outside walls and windows. After the quake, make sure it's safe before going outside. You should inspect your utilities for leaks and damage. Also check your chimneys. So how rare are earthquakes in this area? Timblers powerful enough for us to feel have only been recorded a few times in East Texas history. The most recent two separate earthquakes shook Center and Rusk in 1981. A moderate earthquake hit the Hemphill area in 1964, a magnitude 4.4. Strong aftershocks rattled Sabine County for the next four months. Some cracked plaster was the extent of damage there. And the earliest recorded East Texas tremor in 1891 in the town of Rusk.